guys, it's Cake Noms and George. Well, well you're Max. <laughs> Enjoy. Today we're playing Adopt Me once again, and we are going to show you guys how to build the sculpture of Peppa Pig and Mr. Potato. So if you guys like these building videos, make sure to Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already to become a cake number, and also ring that notification bell so you guys know when to join us for upcoming live streams. So now let's take a look at this uh, sculpture of Mr. Potato here. Keep us alive. So this is what we'll be building today, and I will show you guys how to do that step by step, and also we're gonna build this right here, Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. And of course, I do have to shout out to those of you that joined uh, the early birds. So make sure to smack that like button down below. Shout out to Slicer Core, Natty Cookie Stars, AN, Sunny D, Juan, Trinity Lewis, um, Mr. Ant Rowe, and Jennifer Hughes. Thank you for joining the live stream, you guys. So, and thank you guys for the other people for joining as well. Hey, Max. Yeah. Um, so you're dressed up as George today, right? Mm -hmm. All right. I need, a, I need a George, George, George outfit that like the Roblox girl. Oh, Max. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't I make a sculpture of George, but I did make Peppa. Um, but it could be both, you know. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So guys, I'll show you step by step how to make this and what you need to make it. All right, let's switch over to the other screen. So I did make this before and I recorded myself doing it. So now let's go, oh, okay then, cash out. And guys, if you want more of these building hacks videos or building tutorials, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want me to build next. So um, SpongeBob could be a theme. Um, I don't know anything, you know, SpongeBob, SpongeBob because the ocean update is going to be coming soon to adopt me. So uh, maybe I could build something SpongeBob related, you know? So yeah, let's switch over to another screen um, that we have here. There we go. Okay, there. So now I'll show you how to build this. So first off, we're going to build Peppa's face and Peppa needs a circular face. So we're going to get a large disc, uh, five bucks. It's super easy. Um, and then you need to get a shield. So at first I did uh, think of making this on the floor, but then I realized that it'd be much easier to make it on the wall. So there we go, we moved it to the wall. So we need two shields, you as, it acts as the ears of Peppa Pig, you know? And this kind of, um, kind of looks like a cat, but I'm making a pig today. So this is Peppa Pig, uh, this is her face. So that's all you need for the face part of her, the head, you know? And then next we need to get, uh, let's skip over here. I tried experimenting with the different eyes to see which one looks uh, cute, but none of them looked quite right. So I decided that I would just, see, there's, there's that Peppa uh, with the O. So at the end, I just decided to leave it as two signs and I just put a dot for each of them. And those will act as the eyes, you know, a period. And then uh, next, I'm moving on to the mouth. So for the mouth, I did change this quite a bit. I was going to go for a C shape um, at first and I see I placed it like that, but then it turned out to look a bit derpy. So I was like, you know what, I'll just, do that smiley face. There we go. So this is what Peppa Pig originally looked like and I wasn't really feeling it. So I decided that maybe instead of that, I kind of made her smile bigger and then I'm working on the nose now. So here I used two signs to act as her nostrils and they got tagged. There we go. So you just do O and there, so that is her snout. This is Peppa's snout. And uh, it looked a bit weird, so I decided to make the circle part of her nose. Kind of like to um, on the outside of her nostrils. Kind of like that. So there we go. And I used the parentheses to make this 
um, kind of like that. And then next, I added more on each side, and and then I kind of I got rid of the bottom parentheses later. But we're going to take a look at the ears now. So for the ears, I used pretty sure I used the um, the shift six um, little arrow so this is the ears and you can pretty much you can use like a v as well if you want the inside of her ears to be bigger but i decided to use this so there we go this is like um really simple to make but the signs do cost a lot so keep in mind that these signs um try to use as little as possible so here we have two ears and next i will be Kind of fixing up the nose the nostrils look a little wonky you don't need okay it doesn't need to be wonky there we go and now i moved down this bottom nostril this bottom part of her snout and i made it into the mouth because um it didn't need to have all four circles um so i decided to move it there um, also, hi Jackson, hey Sunny D, Rainforest, um, Slicercore, Noob Asher, Jennifer, uh, Natty Cookie Stars, thank you for joining guys. So then I moved the parentheses down and I decided to change the text of it to a sad face. Oh, okay. Well, then I was like, hmm, how about this? I'll make it uh, to the capital D and it will look much better so here it actually looks like she's smiling rather than going like like with the v-shaped mouth so there we go now we have that so at this point i was like oh yeah that looks a lot like peppa pig it's pretty i think i think it looks like peppa so i decided to add something um kind of like in the piggy game where all the characters have little blush little blush on their face i decided to add that and i added two more signs each uh, on each side of the face so i don't know why i was changing the mouth like that but yeah i decided to add the blush using an at symbol and i turned it i rotated it a bit so that it looks like a cute little blush and i made it kind of darker so you can kind of see it rather than just a glowing light coming out of her cheeks so and then I used uh, the same, I did the same thing for the other side, kind of like that. I changed it to the at symbol again, and I rotated it so that it matched the left side of her face. So there we go. Now we have um, Peppa created, and all we need now is the smile. So I decided to... Um, erase that tag, maybe put a parentheses. I wasn't really sure what kind of smile I wanted to give Peppa at first, but you know, I kind of decided that the parentheses didn't look so happy or um, it looks good, but it didn't have the derpy feeling. So I decided to make it into capital D shape. And uh, later I changed the color of it to be a little darker there we go so now that is peppa created and then surrounding that i just placed down a few um couches just a place to lounge around and i also got out the heart lamp because that looks very cute um it's very nice addition to your house too and then i got another chair there i painted it pink once again okay so that is the whole peppa pig the peppa sculpture all completed and um let's see so sorry i'm late to the live cake but i'm here now thank you megan brooke for joining and hi i'm zirius i love piggy chapter 8 stream thank you so much um cake hmm oh wow yeah Chapter 8 is pretty cool. Since we're talking about Peppa anyways, <laughs> why not talk about Piggy? So, there it is. The Piggy build all completed. Peppa Pig, uh, whatever you like to call it. You can use some of these tips for your other sculptures too to make the face facial features like the eyes, the nose, and all that. So, there is uh, my Piggy. There we go. Piggy is all completed. So, now let's move on to Mr. Potato. 
since Mr. Potato is a very important character, especially in Piggy. And, um, <laughs> there we go. So, this is the whole Piggy build completed. I'm just testing out the different lamps to use, but in the end, I decided to go for the heart lamp. And, wait, let's take a look at this. So, yeah. At the end, I decided to maybe put some lights under the chairs because it wasn't bright enough. But then, there we go. So now, that is completed. And I decided also um, to... <laughs> I was going to put one of those fo uh, photo lights, but I was like, you know what? I think we'll leave it like that. So there it is, all completed. And if you guys want to check out my Peppa Pig house, uh, I'll be sure to leave a link down below in the description for you guys to check it out. And I had a lot of fun building this. It was um, pretty lengthy, but it was really fun. And guys, I will do a step-by-step how to build tutorials in the future so make sure to leave down in the comment section your suggestions for what i should build next um, it could be part of a cartoon or like anything you know just leave it down in the comment section and i'll i'll try my best and attempt to build it <laughs> so there we go now we have the peppa pig build and later i decide to add some windows because uh, peppa's peppa's house needed some windows to look a little more um, I don't know, fancy looking, like if it was a building, a really tall building. I, I, I really like the windows just ascending upwards, and it looked, it had a very nice touch to the house. So there we go, I decided to add some windows to the side of it. And that is it for the Peppa part of uh, the sculpture, the sculpture part, Peppa. So if you guys really want to check out this Peppa building tutorial, then I'll leave a link down below. Now we're going to move on to Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato is um, quite quite the lovely chap, isn't he, guys? Oh, hi. So, oh, I really appreciate you guys joining me in my server. Um, wow. <laughs> the Slicer Core's up there singing uh, Mr. Potato's theme song. All right, Max. Uh, what do you think about Peppa Pig? Um, cool. It's cool? Oh, do you have anything else to say about it? <laughs> it's, it's cool. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Um, wow. Okay, so uh, I was the girl with brown hair. Hi, Ami, um, Dat. Um, I was late. It's okay, Amaya. Welcome to the live stream. Sunny D says, me agree. Okay. Um, cake noms. I stole Max. Just saying. Oh, she's, she kidnapped you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, Trini Lewis says, XD. Oh, uh, great job. Thank you, Natty Cookie Stars. Thank you. Um, so, hmm. All right, let's take a look. I, oh my god, cake. Hi, Miss Lady Rose. I mean, Miss, Miss Lady Cake. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get real high out of my head. Okay, um, she had a donut on her head. I'm CC in the game. Hi, CC. Welcome to the live stream. Um, can you play Piggy for the rest of the stream when you're done? I will do another stream um, that will be Piggy Chapter 8, so stay tuned for that. Um, what's your name? Um, can you do another Piggy? Um, yes, I'm Zerius. I will do another stream for that. And make sure to ring the notification bell. Um, I think Cake Nom should build herself or Max. Oh, that's a good suggestion, Amidat. So now I will show you guys how to build Mr. Potato in Adopt Me. Now let's get started. So first you need two large discs. And this is uh, similar to Peppa, except you need two this time. I would put it as close to the other one as possible. Try to smush it together because I couldn't get a perfect oval, but I could combine two circles together. So I made it look like a potato. Mr. Potato is very long. Um, I tried making uh, it longer but Mr. Potato I guess he'll just be a little shorter but that's okay we can improvise so here is the body of Mr. Potato and there it goes there so Mr. Potato uh, is kind of like this color I believe 
Yep, he's a bright yellow color. And next, we have to take out the signs. So each sign is 150 bucks. Keep that in mind. So I suggest uh, using a as little sign as possible. So um, Mr. Potato does take some more signs than Peppa, but we are going to first get two signs out and make it into Mr. Potato's legs. So I do need to place that there and the other leg goes there. There's a lot of tweaking and all that because it we don't get it right like um, first try, you know. You just play with it around, play with play around with it and see if you can make a masterpiece, you know. So after that, I decided um, since his limbs were blending in with his body, um, I should paint a different color. But we're going to, first of all, I wanted to shift Mr. Potato a little upwards. So there we go. Uh, we shifted him upwards a little. And then I decided to make another sign. And instead of capital L, I used lowercase l. And I placed it as an extension to Mr. Potato's legs because he needs to be taller, you know. Mr. Potato's not that short, guys. So we need to get that right. And then um, <laughs> what I did was I kind of rearranged it a little bit, you know, just to make it look less wonky. So then I did the same for the other leg. I used L, I placed it as an extension to his legs. It was a bit overlapping, so I had to move it. But there we go, we finally finished his legs. And it's just that easy, guys. You just need to use four signs for two of his legs. And then I stacked the uh, top part of his body on the, the bottom part, so it looks like an oval shape. And next, I will be getting another sign, and I'll paint it, um, I'll paint it this color. There we go. So, um, we're going to make it into L's again. And I made it L because this will act as the arm. This is Mr. Potato's arms. Uh, at first, I was going to leave it like that, but then I realized that he actually has three fingers. So I was like, hmm, how should I make it so that he has three fingers? Um, I decided to add more extensions to his arms. So we are now going to add uh, another L to make his arms a little longer and also um, make the three fingers that he has. You know what I mean, guys? So uh, then I, I managed to, I was like, hmm, I think we need a background for Mr. Potato. He looks a bit bland here. Um, usually in Puffa Pig, there's like a blue sky background. So I decided to get a thin floor plate and place it behind Mr. Potato, kind of like that. And there we go. Now we can actually see Mr. Potato in all its glory. Wow, he's, what a beautiful uh, potato he is. Um, Mr. Potato, Na Natty Cookie Star says. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now we are going to place, uh, make the fingers of Mr. Potato. So he has three fingers. I used a V and then I used another V and I kind of merged them together so that it looks like he has three fingers. It looks a bit wonky here, but there you go. You just fix it a little bit and eventually you'll get it right. So he has three fingers, guys. Remember that? It's really important to make sure he has the right amount of fingers. And then, um, kind of like Peppa Pig, Peppa only has three fingers. So, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so there we go. We made his first arm and hand. Yay! Okay, now we're moving on to the next arm. And this one it will also, um, it'll be the same as the other one, so we don't need to watch that again. There we go. Oh, and also later I decided his arms were a bit too stubby, so I added more of an extension to his arm. So now there are two L's to make up his arm and two V's that make up his fingers. Um, See guys, there we go. And then I decided to do that for the other side um, to make his arms a little more longer than usual. There we go. Because, yeah, we need to get the proportions right. Mr. Potato, there we go. And next, I decided to make the same thing for the other side. So let's do that. 
Oh, and be before we do that, I wanted to color his limbs brown because then it will stand out from the rest of his body and it won't just be like a clump together. Like all of his limbs and his body are blending in with each other. So that's not right. We should um, paint that. It's kind of hard to get up in there. So I recommend turning your camera so that it is like kind of in front of it or moving it. It anyway is fine. And I placed it back kind of like that. Um, there we go. So now that is completed. And next I will be painting the leg again. Hmm. Okay, I see. So I'm going to actually continue this with a different recording because I don't have enough money. So let me switch over to another uh, recording here really quick. But hi guys, welcome to the live stream and server. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, whoa, everyone has their neon pets out. <gasps> This is crazy, guys. Whoa, there's a neon queen bee, a neon giraffe. <gasps> wow, everyone's glowing. Hey, Max, check this out. There's so many, there's so many neon pets here. And look at all these cake numbers. Wow. Oh, hi, Poke Celebration. Welcome to the live stream. Um, and guys, make sure to share this video, like and subscribe for more Peppa Pig building tutorials or any building tutorials in general. So now we'll be switching back to uh, the step-by-step -step process on how to make Mr. Potato. Uh, let's take a look at this. Okay, so here is now, um, now that we have enough money and I can afford all the, you know, all the signs because they are quite expensive, we can now paint the signs uh, brown color so that it stands out from the rest. And next I will get another sign for his other arm because we need that. <gasps> I'm Sirius says, subscribe to Kekinims and support her. Thank you very much, Sirius, uh, for that. So next I'll paint that uh, Mr. Potato I'll paint his other arm, and then I'll also add another extension to his other arm. Otherwise, his arms will be wonky. So there we go, there. So now it is done, and I need to add two more signs, um, change the text to V for both of them, and smoosh them together to make his fingers, his hand. Um, so there we go. And also, it's not a V, guys. It's actually the Shift-6 uh, little uh, arrow that's pointing upwards. I don't know how to call that. I don't, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> but it's basically when you hit Shift and then 6, you will get it. So there we go. Now that is um, his arm. And it's a little bit, it's a little uh, wonky. But I decided to remove that. And let's just speed this up a little. So yeah, there we go. It kind of looks like Olaf's hands. Now that is completed. So both of his arms and legs are now completed. And finally, let's get on to the face of Mr. Potato. So um, there's something that Mr. Potato always has, his iconic mustache. And of course we do need that. So I decided to make that first, please. Please be first. Oh no, I made his eyes first. Okay, we need Mr. Potato's eyes. There we go, now we ha have both eyes. All you need to do is get a sign, uh, change the text to a dot or a period, and then I change the color to match Mr. Potato's limbs. Hmm, Ann says, oh, uh, you deserve more subscribers, Kekinims. Thank you. And Jennifer says, like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, thank you for that A-N. Um, oh, hmm, let's see. So yeah, now we have the potato, um, now we have his eyes, and now it's time to move on to his mustache, I believe. So I decided to make his eyes a little darker color than the rest of his limbs, because then it would stand out more. Um, there we go. His mustache is made of two parentheses, and they are next to each other, side by side. There we go. You make that horizontal, and the other one has to be the same. There. So that is his little mustache. You know, Mr. Potato's mustache, it's very iconic. Hmm. Um, 
Where, where are y'all in Adopt Me exactly? We are in my house. So if you would like to go to my house, um, how about this? I'll place a magic door kind of at the neighborhood area so you guys can teleport to my house and you won't have to find it. So it'll be much easier for you guys to find my house. Let me get this door. Um, actually, I'll, paint, I'll place this right here outside the nursery. There we go. Hey, Max. All right, let's go. So let's just teleport. Um, there we go. Okay, I'm back. Hey, guys. So now let's go back to the other screen. And guys, thank you so much for joining my game. I really appreciate it. Um, let's go back to the step-by-step -step screen. There we go. So now I will... Um, now I'll be showing you guys... Oh, wait, it reset. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, well, let's just take a little break here. All right. All right, we're back. We're back here. There we go. So now we made his mustache. And next is his mouth. So we need to make change the text of that to a smiley face. Um, because he has a smiley face, unlike Peppa, where... Um, he looks a bit more suspicious, and I don't know, I, I guess smiley faces mean you're a bit more suspicious, but that's just how it is. So now he has a big, big smiley face, and I will also be using two parentheses to make up his smiley. And I changed the color of that to this kind of tan looking color. Um, there we go, two parentheses, and I kind of combined them together to make his beautiful smile. Wow, Mr. Potato is looking pretty sharp today. So there it is, Mr. Potato. And next, I was kind of confused on how to make his top hat or his cowboy hat because he actually has a cowboy hat and I can't really combine any signs to make a hat kind of like, you know, how, what Mr. Potato has. Um, I think I should pull up a picture of him right, really quick. So let me do that really quick. I'm going to search up a picture of Mr. Mr. Potato. Why am I in caps lock? Mr. Potato, and there we go. Oh, it popped up the Toy Story, Mr. Potato. That's not right. Okay, uh, Mr. Potato Peppa. There we go, Mr. Potato. <gasps> he is so beautiful, guys. Look at that. So here's Mr. Potato, you all. And this is what he looks like. And of course, he does have the cowboy hat. Um, so I was kind of confused. I was like a little confused on how to make this. But then I had a great idea. I was going to use bread. Yes, guys. I'm going to use bread as the top hat. The little, not top hat, but the cowboy hat he has. So um, at first, I was kind of like, hmm, maybe I should make the line and then make an M so that it looks like his top hat or his cowboy hat, but that didn't turn out so well. And I was like, yeah, let's just sell this. There we go. So then I was like, hmm, how about this? I'll place a barrier down uh, because you can't just place the bread on the wall like that or else it won't work. So I would place a barrier down. Let me search up the barrier. And I place it kind of um, at the top of his head, look at the top of his head, and we just place, boop, there we go, boop, we just boop the bread on his head, and, um, there it is, so the bread goes on his head, and, yeah, there we go, so now we have the top part, he kind of looks like a chef, um, is what I thought of when I placed the bread down, and now I can't place back the thin floor plate, so, rip, <laughs> There we go. Come on. Let me place it down. Okay, so now we have that placed down. And now um, I was thinking of making it like that, but then obviously his hat is uh, brown, so we're going to use that color, the other side of the bread, the crust side. You know the part that you don't like? Um, yeah, we're going to use that. And then I'm going to be placing down more signs, of course. So let's just place that over there uh, make sure the sign is sticking out in the front so i decided to make this kind of a similar color to the rest of his limbs um 
uh, I made a little kind of underscore thing, but it ended up tagging. So I decided to just use L at the end. Let me skip to that part. So yeah, I decided maybe I could use the chopping board. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so instead of signs, I'm going to place down a barrier kind of horizontal to the floor on top of Mr. Potato's head so that I can place down a chopping board on his head underneath his bread. So it looks like a cowboy hat. And when I did that, I took away the barrier and I was like, hmm, maybe the, the top hat, the cowboy hat looks a uh, little small like the rim of his hat so i decided i would make i would add two more chopping boards and then it looked it turned out to be a little too long so then i was like you know what i think let's just only use two chopping boards for his hat so it looks better like that there we go so now we have one there um, there we go. Let me just skip to the part. So yeah, I decided to place down two chopping boards, um, with the same length on each side, of course. So, there. Come on. There, there, there we go. So now we have the, um, the bread completed. I mean, his hat. <laughs> okay, finally. Now we have that completed. So all I needed to do was place one over here and the one on the other side and make sure it is the same length. So move it a little bit to the left if it is not. Um, so there we go. Now we have both of his, um, now we have the rim of his hat completed. And it's that simple guys all you need for his cowboy hat is a bread a piece a loaf of bread actually uh and two chopping boards so there here is his cowboy hat and honestly if i didn't include the cowboy hat i think it would have turned out less um mr potato like um so this is a really great addition to your mr potato if you are ever looking to build a Mr. Potato sculpture for some random reason. Um, I don't know why I chose to build, th build this, but you know what? Oh, and I was also going to place down some candles because we we're gonna worship Mr. Potato. But at the end, I was just like, eat healthy. Um, the font didn't look very nice and you couldn't make out what it was saying. So I was just like, you know what? What is a term or what is a phrase that Mr. Potato always says? Um, He's like, wait, is it Super Potato Max? Is it, I think Super Potato says this, but he's like, fruits and vegetables keep us alive and always remember to eat your five. Yeah. So, yeah, Super, yeah Ms. Super Potato said that. Super but I was, oh, it's okay. They're the same person. <laughs> he just, it's just Mr. Potato, but he removed his cowboy hat and he p put on a cape. So here I put fruits, and tables um okay fruits and vegetables but the text was too long so i decided to kind of shorten that i was just going to put fruits at fruits and and then i'd hit save so there we have the first part fruits and vegetables as the next part so fruits and vegetables keep us alive i decided to paint that text red because usually when you're thinking of fruits it's like a cherry or an apple or hmm guys what's your favorite fruit leave a comment down below okay vegetables keep and then i put vegetables keep but then i realized hmm, maybe it'd be easier if i just put vegetables and then the last box will be keep us alive so um, there we go. Keep us alive in there. Save an exclamation mark because it needs to be very happy. So we're going to edit that. Fruits and vegetables keep keep us alive. Why did you not put always remember to eat your five? I couldn't fit it, Max. Oh. See, I don't have any space. But I was going to put a little whiteboard, um, but then it wouldn't look that good. So I just decided to keep it short. Fruits and vegetables keep us alive. And there we go. We have Mr. Potato finally finished. <gasps> it took quite long, and also it did waste my money a little bit. 
guys imagine wasting i don't know how much this cost but you know mr potato um i think i think this turned out pretty well so here now we have peppa pig mr potato we have peppa's house make sure guys to share this video like and subscribe for more building tutorials and if you want to check out my peppa pig build i'll leave a link in the description below for those of you that missed it earlier and thank you guys so much for joining this uh server so let's take a look at this whole place I'll give you guys a tour. So first, here we have fruits and vegetables keep us alive. This is the sculpture of Mr. Potato. Um, how do you like your potatoes, Max? Do you like them fried and like baked them. potatoes, cheesy like potatoes? <laughs> oh, yeah, buttery potatoes. Okay, so here we have Peppa's face. Um, I put George and Peppa over here. And when we go upstairs, um, here is the living room where we have the nice TV. Oops, sorry guys. So let's go to the bathroom. Here is the bathroom. Here is the kitchen with the ABC magnets. Um, here's our little computer space for mummy and Peppa to work, mostly mummy pig. Peppa doesn't work. And then here is Peppa and George's room. This is George's bed. This is Peppa's top bunk. And mommy and daddy pig's room. This is mommy pig's vanity. And last, we have the attic. Um, there we go, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please give us a big thumbs up to show your support. And also ring that notification bell so you guys know when to join for upcoming live streams. Thank you all for joining the server. And stay tuned for the next Adopt Me live stream, everyone. So let's take a look. Oh, and I'm Zerius says, subscribe to Cake Noms, my favorite YouTuber. Thank you, Zerius. Guys, make sure to subscribe. Um, there we go. Yes, Papa. Oh my God, yes, Papa. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. And Max, uh, what should I build next? If you guys have any suggestions on what I should build next, leave it in the comment section down below. Build? I don't know what to build. What, what should I build? Build yourself as a cartoon character. As a cartoon character? You mean just build myself? Like build a sculpture of cake noms? <gasps> should I? Even better, I'll make a statue, a 3D model. I'll make a 3D model of you, Max. <gasps> or Peppa Pig. No, that's not possible. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a... Spheres don't exist in Minecraft. I mean, adopt me. I'm gonna make myself... You're gonna make yourself? I'm gonna make myself not an adopt me, but in another game. Oh, okay, cool. And you can copy the objects. They under ball this balls, but there's no barriers. Oh, okay. But I can use like other stuff as barriers. Okay. Well guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to ring the notification bell, subscribe, share this video, like, and also I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.